Hi. Um, 2014 Ford Focus. Um, smells like marijuana in here. Let's see. The customer says the check engine light's on, and it feels like it's bucking and jerking. And it is hot, also. It uh, is hot outside. <laughs> I hope the AC works on this one. Yahoo! Let's uh, see what we can find out. Power seat. Ooh, this, the uh, cover's falling off the side of the seat. Alrighty, anyway. See what she does here. This uh, this bird has got 146,000 miles on her, and it's a 2014. So if it's a TCM issue, that should be covered under warranty. But that's it. It's got the typical. Uh, slip sort of feel going into second gear which is either a slip on clutch B or delayed release of clutch A whatever causes that I don't feel it usually uh, on the forks and uh, I've actually replaced a clutch on a few cars and it's fixed it and it's never not fixed it but I guarantee you that's not what they're talking about whether or not it's related, that's another uh, that's another question. So, yep, I'm just gonna drive it and see what she does. Sounds like it's got a noisy rear wheel bar. And all right, here's the highway. I'm gonna give her a scoot up the highway and uh, you know uh, stress the transmission a little bit and see if it loses engagement or gives any uh, sign of what it's doing. Now, obviously, there is a check engine light, so it, it's going to tell us something, but I'd, I would rather duplicate a concern before I just go in and blindly scan for codes, just so I can have a better idea of the uh, preliminary diagnosis. Slow down in case that guy wants to come over. All right, well, I mean, other than a sort of delay going into, I believe, clutch B, I don't really feel anything. Um, that delay is likely a clutch issue. It's not a strong enough of a delay, or a, it's not even a flare to be considered a fork issue. Now, if I go in there and there's a fork code, that's a whole other story. So, let's go in the shop. Okay, I have inserted the vehicle into my stall. I have attached the scan tool device to the vehicle, and now I will be commencing operation. I'm, I'm turning the scan tool on, alright? I don't need to be so fancy about that. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so, how's everyone doing today? Please let me know in the comments down below. Okay. It's detecting the vehicle. It has connected to the vehicle. Oh, don't want to show the VIN number. Okay. Self-test. All codes. See what she says. It's going to take a few minutes for me, but for you, it's going... Um, what? I couldn't even snap my fingers. Wow, this must be one of them quantum computers. Okay. P0171. System 2 Lean Bank 1. P0420. Catalytic converter efficiency, P0456, EVAP leak detected, P1450, unable to bleed up fuel tank vacuum. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think this is a transmission issue. 
Um, let me uh, take her for another quick spin, make sure the clutch doesn't feel too bad. But it looks like we might be looking at a purge valve. But uh, let me do more diagnosis. Yeah, I mean, as far as the transmission goes, I feel a little bit of shudder. I feel a little bit of delay on clutch B. Um, and with the mileage on it, I would recommend uh, doing the forks, the slave cylinder, and the clutch. Um, probably not the actuators. Um, but uh, I'll talk to the advisor. Um, yeah, there's some shudder. A little bit of transmission shake. So that's uh, certainly one of the lines they're talking about there. One of the concerns they're talking about there. Lines on the ticket. Um, but uh, the other line, the check engine light, is not transmission related. Um, I'm going to make sure the purge valve is uh, leaking before I quote replacing it. But um, that uh, seems to be the issue with the check engine light. I'm also going to look at the spark plugs with the mileage on it and see if they need to be replaced. See if the valve cover gasket's leaking in the, uh, into the spark plug wells. So stay tuned for that. Okay, it's starting to shake a little worse now. Let's see if I can catch it on camera. I mean, I can feel it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it on camera though sort of feels like you're just running you're except when you're accelerating it feels like you're going over like a rough road kind of like it's pulsating and shaking I'm gonna see which of the rear wheel bearings is making that noise or if it's a front one. Oh no the forklift's blocking the entrance up there you may not be able to see it but I do <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just like chug 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 <laughs> the uh, clutch shutter. So it needs a clutch, a uh, clutch job. One more time. Oh yeah. All right. So as far as the clutch goes, it's shuttering. There's no codes for the transmission, so. At this point, I follow TSB number 160109, unless they've updated that number. Um, but at this point, I know it needs a clutch, but I'll uh, go ahead and proceed with testing the purge valve. So the way I'm gonna test it is with running the engine and disconnecting the valve, which should force it shut. And I'm gonna see if it's still pulling air. It can still leak the other direction, but this is a quick way to test to see if it's leaking at all. So I've disconnected it. Yeah, what you do is you follow the purge valve hose back to here. Disconnect this. Stick your pinky in it, and yes, I feel it sucking. You hear that? Yeah, there you go. Alright, you can probably hear that hissing. That's a uh, leaking purge valve. That's 100% the issue. I'm also going to um, go ahead and check the spark plugs since there's 150,000 miles on the car, see if they need to be replaced. Eight millimeter coils uh, bolts. You really only need to pull one, but I'm going to peek into all four and see if the valve cover is leaking into the spark plug wells. All right. All right. I'm going to check the number one plug. That's the only one I'm going to actually pull out. But I'm going to pull the coils out on all of them. Twist and pull. Make sure the spring didn't fall out. No oil. 
no oil, springs in there, no oil, good, good, okay, looks like we have a 150,000 mile valve cover gasket that's not leaking, good. Okay, uh, one moment. spot to grab on there. I'm weird. I like working on focuses. They're simple. Everything's easy to get to. If you see oil in your spark plug holes in here, um, it needs a valve cover gasket. And that's cheap and fairly easy to do. Just make sure when you go back together with it to put a little bit of silicone where the front cover meets with the engine block. You'll see it. It'll uh, have them there from the factory, so you just clean that off and put it in. Okay. Focus. Okay, I'm just going to look at it myself. Yeah, they do appear to be original. They do have a little bit of oil in the threads, which could be blow-by or valve uh, stem seals. It's uh, definitely completely dry on the top of the plug, so whatever it is is coming from in the combustion chamber. Yeah, yeah, they do uh, appear to be original. I'm going to try to get it to focus for you. I do apologize, technical difficulties, but yep. All right. I'm going to recommend plugs. The engine oil level is slightly over full, like maybe a half a quart at the most. It's about right there, so maybe a third to half. It's about right there. That's the max mark. That could explain the blow-by. I can't guarantee that, but... Um, and I don't think it's the first time I've seen that on one of these engines, or any engine in general, really, with the oil getting in the threads. Um, now these engines are, on the Focuses, the 2 liter Duratec, they are indestructible. I've never seen one fail, and I've worked here for 10 years at Ford. Um, so maybe a little bit is, you know, not going to be destructive. It's not even setting a misfire code or anything, so. And, uh, obviously the oil level's not low. And it doesn't, it doesn't look fresh, so it's been in there a while, so. Um, so yeah, it uh, needs a clutch job, purge valve, uh, and a basic tune-up. I'll check the air filter too. Okay, I uh, hope you had fun watching. It's um, also got a noisy wheel bearing in the back too, I'll look at if they want to. Alright, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe for more. Have a nice day.